Alright guys, Lemrex here from VS Performance, just showing you guys my new build. It's right here. Uh, my motherboard crapped out on me on my other machine, the Gigabyte motherboard, so I got myself a little better. Uh, it's the, let's see, it's the Asus P5ND motherboard, SLI ready for the Intel uh, uh, 775 uh, socket chips. I didn't want to get the i5 or the i7 because um, I didn't feel like buying new memory when I got perfectly good RAM. Uh, that's really, you can overclock it with no problem. Um, and on the chip, I went with the Core 2 Duo. Again, didn't need, didn't need to go super high end. It's the E7500, uh, 2.93 gigahertz, uh, 45 nanometer, all the good stuff. Uh, as you can see, it's already installed with a stock Intel fan. Um, I didn't like the temps. I was getting about 60 degrees Celsius, which is kind of a no-no. Uh, so, uh, what I'm doing is getting my old Zalman fan out that gave me excellent temperatures on my AMD. And I had to call my buddy to get me the Intel, Intel bracket right here. As you can see, we've got two different fans over here. Here's his, here's mine. Only difference is mine is variable speed, his is a fixed speed control, uh, and I threw my brackets away so I needed them. Um, so pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, for the thermal compound, I'm just going to be using the stock uh, Zalman compound. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, it does a really good job at keeping the chip cool. I don't. I, I do have the uh, the Arctic Silver, but for some reason this stuff just seems to work a lot better than all the other stuff. So, next clips will be uh, me installing everything on the motherboard. Alright? Alright guys, moment of truth. Everything's plugged in and we'll see if there's life. Whoop. One sec. Alright guys, second try. Sorry about that. Life and action. Seems to that everything's working. Alright, let's see. Like he was saying, he's in the he got into the BIOS, which he forgot to tell you. He just Sorry left, about that. He just left the camera got running. Looking. Yeah, running at the looking at the green PC right there, as you can see. But anyways, CPU temps drop 10 degrees. 10 degrees will hold down. Let the let the thermal paste and everything uh, do its thing.
still gotta you, you gotta break in the thermal face in the CPU. That's better than before. It was running at 60, so that's good. That's running at the three point almost three gigahertz. What Windows does, or actually what Asus does with their own uh, software, it can actually lower the frequency of the CPU. So mine idles at 1.6 gigahertz, which lowers it down to below 50 with the stock cooler. Uh, with this one, I have no idea yet, so we've got to boot into Windows and see. You could try a uh, new thermal paste. Nah. The MX2. That one's always good. At least we can hear that it's posting, right? Okay. I got Vista. Windows Vista on here instead of Windows 7. I can't stand Windows 7 with a passion. Uh, I'm Windows 7 certified, everything, but just Windows Vista just works better. I'm sorry to win to Microsoft. That's just my opinion. Just takes a little while. Oh my god, look, it's no leopard. Just kidding. And since I don't know how I plugged in my USBs, my computer is installing just random stuff, so... Like my pinnacle and all that good stuff. Alright, let's see. Asus. Now, as you guys can see right there, it's running at 1.5 gigahertz, 1.9. And CPU temps drop to 43 uh, degrees when it's just doing nothing. When I do something intensive, it'll of course jump to, to two, almost 3 gigahertz with no problem. As you can see. You got CPU Z? Do you have CPU Z? Somewhere. I thought I did. No. Oh, weird. Let me just plug in my external installer real quick. Now you guys will see right there when it's installing stuff and you'll see the frequency jump up. You guys can tell right there, it's no problem. Alright, CPU ID, let's see. Doesn't that, what is it, GPU? No, system is 39 and CPU is 55? Well, I was just installing, and it just bumped up the frequency. But as you can see, uh, it's the Wolfdale 45 nanometer Core 2 Duo, running at 2.9 gigahertz, now down to 1.6. I mean, pretty good. I'm satisfied. 44, I mean, for, for a fan, that's amazing. Alright guys, Lemmerick's here. I will see you guys later with my next vid.